I recently had a coding bootcamp reach out to me and offer me a paid sponsorship. It's honestly one of the first sponsor offers that I've gotten that has actually been from like a bigger company. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna say what bootcamp it was that reached out to me for a paid collaboration, but I might at the end of the video. You should just watch it because I might be committing YouTube business suicide right now by talking about this stuff. And I'm gonna share the email that they sent me. And I'm also gonna show my response where I kinda just kinda blew them off a little bit given that my channel is always talking about learning how to code self-taught and how I've made a few videos where I kinda say how I don't really believe in boot camps and I don't think that they're worth it and I think that it's better going self-taught and I think that they're out of control and charging people too much money and, and there's just new boot camps popping up every day. And this boot camp that reached out to me is actually a more established boot camp because I've seen them advertised and I've seen their name around for a while now. So here's the email which I, I wanted to share. So this lady reached out to me. I'm gonna blur out her name and her email because I, I don't wanna put her personally on blast. I'm sure if they ever see this video that they'll know who it was that reached out to me, but I'm not gonna put her information out there. So she reaches out to me, you know, she introduces herself. She works for uh, this boot camp and, you know, a global tech education company that offers a variety of coding bootcamp programs and saying how she's reviewed my YouTube. We have potential Zenergies that can be explored around offering insight into how your community of followers can benefit from coding bootcamp programs like theirs. When I saw this, I was just like, oh man, really, really, like they did not watch that video. And you know, I don't blame them. It's, I don't expect them to watch all my videos, but it, it still is one of my top 10 videos out of like a hundred videos. So if they would have just searched my videos by popular, they would have seen that I had a video that I basically talked about coding boot camps for like 15 minutes on that video. At their boot camp, their philosophy is that anyone can learn to code. Yes, I say that all the time. And I think that anyone can learn to code for free or spending a very small amount of money. You don't need a ton of money to learn how to code. There's a lot of free resources or you know courses that are very reasonable that don't cost thousands of dollars like coding boot camps do that can teach you how to code. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel and watch videos where I talk about a lot of resources like that, feel free because I'm always talking about different you know, free or affordable learning resources to learn how to code. And this person goes on to say how, you know, that they're, they're a great, you know, boot camp and they, they want to teach people how to code and that how they would like to work with me. You know, they're working in the industry for the last 10 years. So like I said, they're kind of an established boot camp. They say that they're looking for content creators and influencers. And then they go on the saying, having said that, they would like to ask me if I would like a paid collaboration. And if so, if I could send them a media kit to review and have a chat with them to know what, what kind of collaboration that we can, we can, um, partake in. And uh, I, I blew them off. I, I didn't respond to this email. I let it go. They emailed me on the 25th of February and then a follow-up email from them on the 3rd of March asking if I had even gotten their last email and just wanted to see if I was still interested in the deal. At this point, I was in the middle of selling my house. I was in the middle of moving. I was in the middle of packing. I think I responded to the email when I got to the library because we were returning overdue books after we were like cleaning up the house and packing everything up. We found a bunch of library books because I remember responding to them finally a few days later after that last email, I, I responded to them uh, three days later. And honestly, I didn't even know what a media kit was. I had to ask someone on Discord uh, what a media kit was because I've never had a sponsored deal. I haven't set up any sponsorships. I've had a couple companies reach out to me over the last few months, but no brands or companies that I really feel are worth talking about or making deals with because it's stuff that either I don't use or crappy companies that I don't want to work with. And I'm not saying that this boot camp is a crappy boot camp. I, I don't know. Um, and that's really why I wanted to make this video because the fact that I don't know and the fact that there's really no way for me to find out how good their boot camp is and that they want me to do sponsored videos for them recommending their bootcamp because really like how would I be able to honestly 
review their boot camp? Would I attend the whole boot camp and then try to get hired after I do it? Would I, you know, maybe a, attend a day or look at their curriculum or, you know, just get a high level overview and just start saying that, you know, it's a great boot camp and people should go because they're paying me. I feel like if I would have actually entertained the idea of this being a sponsor and if I would have done it just for the money, I feel like I wouldn't have been happy about it, no matter how much they were willing to pay me. And I'm sure it was, it was decent, but it's probably not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things, but to like lose my credibility or just lose face when I tell people so often that they can learn how to code on their own, that they don't really need a boot camp. And when I make videos talking about how boot camps are out of control with their marketing and with the way that they're trying to, you know, get people to learn how to code fast so they can get a job in, you know, a short amount of time and make a hundred thousand dollars a year. And I'm always talking about that stuff. And I'm always kind of saying how, how I think those things are funny and how, you know, there's a lot of ways for you to learn without those things. And, you know, you don't need to spend a ton of money on how to code. And then I get an email from a big boot camp that wants me to do sponsored videos for them. And I just thought it was really, really funny that they would reach out to me. And I can't be too hard on the person that probably sent me this email because they're just doing their job and they probably don't do an extensive amount of research. They probably just see a small channel with about, you know, whatever I got, like 15,000 subscribers at the time when they reached out to me and they figured that it's in the programming niche and, you know, I, could probably be a good collaboration for them, but they didn't dig deep enough to see that a lot of my content really would conflict with their business and what they're trying to do. And I just feel like they should have done a little more research before they reached out to me. So I'm gonna put them on blast. Obviously, they're probably not gonna do one now. It's over a month since I responded to them with my kind of like, you know, snobby uh, response and lack of you know, caring to do business with them in. If you read it the way I was thinking it, and if they did too, they're probably like, this guy's an asshole and they don't wanna do business with me, or they saw that I probably don't really care to do business with them because I was basically kind of telling them that, hey, I don't really have time for your media kit, and you know, this is my biggest following. If you wanna do a deal, let me know how much. And that's probably not the response that you want to um, send a potential sponsor unless you don't care, and I really don't care. Um, by the time I get sponsored deals, I figured I'm gonna be doing YouTube for a long time, and I wanna make sure that I work with brands and companies that I believe in, that I like, and that I can trust, and that my viewers can trust me recommending, because at the end of the day, I'm the one in front of the camera who will lose credibility and will look stupid if he starts recommending a random coding boot camp just because they're paying him to do so. And that's just not my style. So who was it that sent me this email for a sponsor deal? If you really wanna know, drop a comment down below, hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll do a follow-up video if this video gets enough traction. If it just kinda dies and nobody watches it, then you know, I'll let it be anonymous and I won't say who the coding boot camp was. But if this video blows up and people want to know what boot camp is reaching out to YouTubers to recommend their product, um, let me know and, I, and I'll put them on blast and I'll say exactly who it was in a follow up video. So yeah, let's let's try that out. Let's see if that actually stimulates the algorithm or if it's just gonna flop because I know they do that on TikTok. Like for part two or, or whatever they do on stupid TikTok videos. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to say that I even know that. But um, with that said, like, subscribe, and comment for part two of this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two, maybe? Hmm? Who knows? I don't know, maybe? Hmm? We'll see.